Somebody asked me recently how to create uh, leather inlaid lines uh, on your work and so I thought I'd show you a, a demonstration of how to do that. Um, I'm going to use um, just a piece of uh, leather which I've glued to a board as if it was on a book. Uh, I tend to do this on the book though you can do it off the book if you wish. Um, so the leather's attached to the book board uh, and I'm going to uh, create a black leather line. So what I've done on this piece of leather is I've just thinned a strip of it uh, and it needs to be very thin. This is down to about 0.25 millimetres. Um, the reason for that is that it's going to go, go in, uh, in a, a groove basically on the leather uh, and I don't want to see any, any raw edges to the leather. Now because we're doing a very thin line you can't really edge pair it so uh, it needs to be thin all the way across. Uh, so the way to achieve that is to, I'll just cut the strip of thinned leather off the rest like so and then cutting a, a, a regular piece of, uh, a regular strip of leather at the same width is quite tough so we need to stretch the leather a little um, and not too much but just to make it taut on a piece of card like so, yeah that's okay. I'm going to cut one edge so it's absolutely straight get rid of that. Okay so we've got a straight edge to work to now. Um, I'm going to create a groove in the base leather which I'm going to do using uh, just a fillet wheel um, of an appropriate thickness for the line that you want. Uh, I'll do that in a moment but first I will cut the, um, the strip of leather and that therefore needs to be the same width essentially as the, the, the uh, groove I'm going to be making. So I'm just lining up my ruler just doing it by eye until I'm happy with the the width, press firmly and cut. Like so. And I'll just cut that off. And so there we have our line. Like so. So I'm now going to um, create the, uh, the line in the base leather using my fillet wheel. So I've heated up my uh, fillet wheel. Um, as you can see I just use a, a standard hot plate for my tools. It works perfectly well. Makes a bit of a noise but apart from that it's, it's absolutely fine. So essentially we're just going to blind tool um, our design. In this case I'm just doing a simple line. Um, so I'll just do that first. Uh, we'll do a curve I think. Like so. Um, so we've created our, our, our groove essentially, a blind tool line. Uh, now of course this can be as simple as complicated as you want depending on the design. If it's more complicated you may wish to tool through a template on thin paper. Uh, you can use uh, palettes and gougias and, and or a stylus for example uh, as you would for any blind tool design. Um, but essentially that's what we're doing. It's a simple blind tool design. Um, the, the, you can see there it's, it's scorched slightly but it doesn't matter because the uh, leather is going to go into there. Um, so the next thing to do is to glue up or paste up should I say the reverse side of the leather, the leather strip. It's important that you use paste rather than PVA because it'll take a little time to position correctly and you want to be able to move it uh, while you're doing that um, and also if there's an issue or a problem you can uh, remove it of course so lift that up and we can then position it in the groove that we've just created I'm just doing it relatively roughly to start with I don't want to stretch the leather either so I have to be careful I'm laying it down rather than stretching it and pulling it where it doesn't want to go. Like 
It's a nice fit, it's about the right width for the line that I've created. And then it's just a question of pushing and shoving it into the exact position that you want. So it's a nice smooth line in this case. Yeah, that's going very nicely. And because it's so thin, the uh, black leather strip just nestles nicely within that line I've created um, and then just going to go over it through paper just to make sure it's secure double check to make sure it's where I want it to be still change position slightly if I need to yeah and there we go so that's a nice flat surface. Um, you can, if you wish, um, if you're doing this off with the leather off the book, uh, you can do this and then turn it over and back pair um, the, uh, where the line is. Um, you don't have to do that because it's so thin. And if you're doing it on the book, of course, you can't get to the back anyway. But um, I tend to do it on the book myself. But if you, if you did want to back pair it, that's absolutely fine. Um, and then you can make the design clearly as complex or as, as simple as you want. You can add extra lines, different colours, different thicknesses and so on. So that's how to make a, um, I guess it's an onlay rather than inlay. Depends how you look at it. Um, but a nice uh, leather line on your, on your book cover.